Good morning everyone, I hope you're well. So in this video we're covering TradeWiz Trading Bot. So this is the fastest trading bot on Solana that I've used so far. So I wanted to make a video, number one, showing you exactly how fast it is and how it works. And also the copy trade function, the limit orders, the auto sell, everything that it has. It's pretty much everything you need in a trading bot. Because I've used a few as you can see here. And I've got to use two or three because they don't all have the features I need, but this one is an all-in-one. Even if you're not going to copy trade, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Copy trading is probably one of the most profitable things you can do if you find good wallets. But I'll show you, like I said, the setup. So really and truly, it works like any other bot. You can just get any token address, like so. Copy it in. And then you've got your limit order or your buy function we'll show you the simple swap function so you can just put any amount of solana and then it will go through like that so it is pretty quick this is a high volume token as you can see every eight seconds nine seconds actually it's very high volume we're getting trades coming in and usually most bots would fail or not get into the block and then it's delayed this one works really really well in terms of trading and you can see your you know what you're currently holding if you want to buy another one and to sell it's very simple 50 percent 10 percent whatever i'll sell 100 percent, and we can see how much i've lost <laughs> with that and that's it so i'm down four percent on that not a good trade but i only put in like a cent or something like that so in terms of copy trade i'll show you very quickly how it works copy trade is you need a wallet so let's say it's my wallet let's just grab one of my wallets here And you want to add a wallet and we're going to call it Kader. So that's the tag. So when it comes up, it will show you what is traded. You want to put the wallet in and then the buy percentage. So if I buy one Solana, you will buy one Solana. If I buy 10 Solana, you will buy 10 Solana. So you might want to put it at 5%, for example, something small. Depends on who you're copy trading, see what type of size they buy and then allocate it exactly how you want. They have a maximum and minimum buy, so it won't buy if it buys anything over 10 Solana. So you can just put your amount there. And the total buy limit as well, self-explanatory. Buy times, I think you can set it as what time you want it to buy or how many times you want it to buy. So you can just say only buy once because they might DCA in or something crazy. And you can get it to buy don't buy unannounced contracts. Don't buy anything that's not burnt. So it's like a safety mechanism. I don't want it to buy anything on pump fund. So I'll just put false. And then that's pretty much it. Se select your gas like that. So I've got one wallet traded. If I was to trade, this wallet will copy provided I have some enough Solana and it meets my criteria. So that's pretty much it for copy trading with that. Limit orders I would like to show as well because limit orders are pretty pretty good. So this token is currently priced at 307 yeah. So if I want I can make it so it buys here. So at this at some point this token is going to dip down yeah and I want to buy or if it pumps I might want to sell. So limit orders you can either put the contract in or you can click limit orders. So we're going to go, instead of a swap, we're going to go limit orders. And this is for buy and sell. So I might want it to trigger at 0 0.001. So it was three zeros, one. So 700K, this will buy 100K market cap. A did it, basically. And I want it to buy, let's say, five Solana. Yeah. This, if you're not using limit orders on a high volume token, you wonder why when a token does dip or pump instantly people buy before you before you can trigger the dip even if you're using a bot this is what people do and this is probably one of the most profitable ways so you can set up limit orders different levels so if someone nukes you will instantly buy and then people will buy the dip this is the most profitable way to trade on solana and if you're not using limit orders when I started, you might think, oh, limit orders, I don't really want to do it, etc. But it really, really works. Slippage, I would advise putting something about 15, 20. But you can just put any amount you want if you are buying limit orders and dips. So we've set up. We have an auto sell function. So I might say, if I get 20% profit, sell it. Yeah. And this will last for one day. And you would create the order now. Provided you have enough Solana in there, obviously I don't have enough Solana in there, but you can put any amount you want. 
and likewise with the cell it's the same thing uh, as well so this bot is pretty pretty good I would advise if you feel like your transactions are failing or anything like that modify your gas and your slippage as well so your gas you might want to put this is sort of the default 0 0.005 that I don't know what is that equal to that's this is about 0 0.01 is about $1.40 yeah and that's about one that's about 70 cents so you might want that that's basically a good level yeah you'll get in before most people most people are using either this or this so it's a much lower lower amount this is just some advice around it slippage most people have 15 defaults so 18 is giving you an advantage so this is all set up pretty pretty well with that being said they do have a referral system the links are all in the description as well but you might think i don't need another bot Trojan is working well, everything else is working well, but really and truly, this gives you an advantage. And make sure if you're copy trading, set up correctly, play with it, don't eat big amounts. And also with the limit orders is where you're actually going to make the money. So I hope you found this video helpful. Any questions, please let me know.